Hello, and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be solving lead code problem 1244, design a leaderboard. Before we do, you guys know the drill. Leave a like and a comment on the video. It helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. Design a leaderboard class, which has three functions. Add score, which takes a player ID and a score, and it updates the leaderboard by adding score to the given player's score. If there is no player with such an ID in the leaderboard, add him to the leaderboard with the given score. Top K, return the sum score, uh, the score sum of the top K players. And we also want to implement reset, which is going to take a player ID, and it will reset the score of a player with the given ID to zero. In other words, erasing it from the leaderboard. And it's guaranteed that the player uh, was added to the leaderboard before calling this function. And initially, the leaderboard will be empty. So what I want to do now is because this question is more of a design question, and honestly, it's really not that complicated. I mean, add score top and reset. We don't really need to go through an example because it's a waste of time. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can wrap your head around what a leaderboard looks like. What we're going to do is we're actually just going to talk about how we want to solve it uh, instead of wasting time with a example. So I'm going to wipe away all of this text here, and then we're just going to talk about how we want to approach the solution. It's relatively simple. And that's what we're going to do now. So I'll see you in a second. Read the question prompt. Now it's time to actually solve it. What we're going to do here is we're going to use two data structures. The first is going to be a dictionary, and we'll call this scores, scores uh, dictionary. And then the second one is going to be a heap. So whenever you hear top K, uh, you want to be thinking heap. And the way this is going to work is let's see. So we have three methods, right? So we want to add score, right? So add score, this one's really simple. We're just going to put into the dictionary for that player ID. So player, and we're going to add their score, right? That one's super simple, and we can do this in constant time, right? No problem. The second method we want to do is what? Reset the score. So reset. So what we want to do is we want to say player, um, and then their score is just going to get reset to zero. Again, we can do this in constant time, so that's good. And the last thing we want to do is actually do top K, right? Top K, uh, in which case we'll actually need to build a heap out of all of the scores, right? So we're going to say build uh, heap and then get uh, top K, right? And obviously to do this is going to take n log k where n is the number of scores we have and then k is the size of our heap right now you have a choice you can either get the top k whenever you actually call it and the way you would do this is simply by building the heap every time you call top k or you can actually do it when you do add it doesn't really matter i think that for this question this is probably something you want to actually ask with your interviewer because these tons of uh, these types of questions where they're interactive and you're designing things typically you have um, more scope to actually scope out the problem um, so you'd want to ask like okay are we going to be adding scores more often than we do top k if you're going to be adding uh, a lot more often than you actually call top k then it's probably better to just do it on demand uh, if you're going to be calling top K frequently, then that might be a reason to actually build it uh, every time you have add, uh, when you add a new score, and that way you can easily get the top K quickly. So it depends. This is something you want to ask with your interviewer. The overall time complexity isn't going to change here uh, because either way you're going to have to update the heap or just recreate it from scratch. It doesn't really matter. Um, whenever we add a new score, we have to basically change the heap because things may get rearranged. So it's not like we can store one and then just constantly just use the same heap. We have to always keep it updated. So that's something you can ask with your interviewer, but the overall approach is going to be the same. You're still going to have your scores dictionary and you're still going to have your heap uh, to actually track the values. So that is the approach that we want to take. I do want to mention that there is one solution where you can actually use a sorted dictionary. Um, the problem with this is in Python, this is not something that's built into the standard library. There is an external package um, to get this sort of like tree map uh, sorted dictionary data structure, but you know, it's up to your interviewer whether or not they want to let you use this because again, it's not part of the standard library. It's technically a third party dependency. And if you actually don't know how the tree map is implemented 
below the hood um, to give you that sort of dictionary property, then you could be in big trouble because if they ask you to explain how it works, um, you could get caught out. Um, I mean, again, you should probably know how heaps work behind the scenes uh, in general, how they're kind of implemented if you're using them. But most of the time, if you say heap, they're not really going to ask you. But if you say, hey, I want to use this third party dependency uh, to give a sort of dictionary, then they're, they're probably going to ask you, oh, well, how does it work? Uh, if the interviewer really wants to probe you, they can do that and that's fair game. So do keep that in mind. Uh, interviewers do do this sometimes. So now let's go to the code editor and type it up. It's really simple. All right, we're back in the code editor. Let's type this up. The first thing that we need to do is actually define our dictionary here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say self.scores and this is gonna be a default dictionary uh, and we're gonna pass in an integer. So basically it initializes it to zero. Um, now what we want to do is actually do add score. So what we're going to do is we're going to say self.scores for the player ID. Um, we're going to add score to it. So obviously if the player ID exists in the dictionary, we'll just be adding score. If it doesn't exist, the default dictionary will create the key and set it equal to zero. And then we just add that score to it. So really simple for reset. Um, it's guaranteed that the player ID will exist, so we don't have to worry about key errors. So we can directly just say self.scores of player ID, oops, player ID, uh, and this just gets set to zero. Super simple. Now, what we want to do for top is actually to uh, build the heap and then get those top k values. So let's say that heap is just going to be an empty heap in the beginning, and we're going to say while, oops, sorry, not while, so for score, for score in self dot scores dot values because values of the dictionary are the actual um, you know scores here what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, if the length of our heap is actually less than K then we can just add stuff to the heap so we're gonna say heap Q dot heap push onto the heap our score and we're good to go if not if we're actually at capacity then we need to make a decision whether or not we need to get rid of an item on the heap. So the top of the heap uh, is going to be the smallest element in the heap. And remember, we're looking for the top K elements. So if our current score is actually greater than the smallest element on the heap, we wanna get rid of that smallest element and then add score instead. So we're gonna say if score is actually greater than heap of zero, so heap zero is basically the smallest element, then we wanna say heap Q dot heap pop so we're going to pop from the heap and then we're going to say heap Q dot heap push onto the heap our new score. So we're getting rid of that old um, smallest score and then we're adding our score. Uh, and then basically at the end, we will have the K biggest uh, scores because remember at each stage we get rid of the smallest value. So at the end, we'll only have K values and they'll be all the greatest ones in the um, in our scores. Now what we want to do is um, we need to basically get our result. So we're gonna initialize the variable result and it's gonna be set to zero. And now we need to actually just go through the heap one time and then add all of those values to our result. So basically we're gonna say while heap, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, res plus equals, actually we don't even have to say while heap because we don't have to pop anything from the heap. We can just say for num in heap, we don't actually care about the order. Uh, we're just gonna say res plus equals to num, we actually don't need to do any popping here. So uh, the last thing we wanna do is just return our result and that is the top K scores. So let me just now submit this and make sure it works. Let's run it first, make sure we didn't make any stupid mistakes and it looks fine. Let's submit it and accept it, perfect. So let's talk about the time and space complexity. I know that we already went over this, um, but whatever. To, um, Add a score, obviously this is just gonna take big O of one time because we're just adding a key to a dictionary and incrementing its value uh, in the worst case. So that's gonna be big O of one. Um, for the reset, obviously the same thing, we're just updating a dictionary key, no problem there. Um, space complexity, obviously there is none because we're just setting a key that exists. Um, and then let's see, for the add score, also space complexity here, big O of one. Um, and then for the top, this is where we have the most time complexity. So if we remember what we need to do here, we are, um, you know, we're going over all of the elements and checking to add them to our heap. So we need to go over all of the elements, which is going to be N, uh, and then 
we're going to potentially be adding, uh, you know, doing log k comparisons uh, on the heap because of that, right? We could do potentially uh, n uh, additions to the heap and each addition is gonna be log k. So that's gonna be your time complexity for this step is uh, n log k. Sorry, big O of n log k. Uh, oops, uh, yeah. big O of n log k. And then for the space complexity, well, we have, um, you know, I guess in general for the problem, it's gonna be big O of n for the scores dictionary. And then for this particular part, it's gonna be big O of k for the heap, for the heap. So that is your kind of overall time complexity. You have big O of n for the scores dictionary, and then you have your big O of k for the heap. So for this method in particular, it's just gonna be big O of k, but for the problem overall, it's big O of n plus big O of k uh, for your total space complexity. So. That is how you solve a uh, design a leaderboard. Like we talked about in the kind of uh, explanation section, you can choose to use a sorted dictionary here uh, to kind of speed things up so that you don't have to use a heap and you can actually um, you know, insert elements in log n time, which will actually make um, finding the top k elements quite fast. But again, it's not a standard library um, data structure for Python, so you may not be allowed to use it, or you may have to explain very well how it works. That is fair game for your interviewer to ask you. If you feel like a candidate doesn't actually know the data structure they're using, you can kind of trip them up on that um, because you maybe suspect that they just memorized the leak code solution. So if you know how a tree map or a sorted dictionary works, go for it if the interviewer says you can. If not, then just play it safe with the heap solution because most people know how heaps work and typically interviewers aren't really gonna ask you how the heap works because that's just not really something they do uh, in case they're particularly mean. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling because uh, I don't want the video to be too long. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like and a comment. It helps me out tremendously with the YouTube algorithm. If you wanna see more content like this, then please subscribe to the channel. If you wanna join a Discord community where we talk about all things Fang, stuff like systems design, interview preparation, you can have your resume reviewed, you can ask for referrals, all of that. If that sounds interesting to you, I'll leave a link in the description below for the Discord community and I hope to see you there. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.